I'm going to start the video off on the Bad Cat Bobcat 5R. I'm using this uh, Les Paul, and I've got some pedals set up over here. Uh, I've got Patumnus. I've got the uh, Clon Clone by Ryra, and also uh, the Andy Timmons um, Angry Charlie. So just generically, starting off on the bridge pickup with a Les Paul and trying to get a clean tone, I got the gain at 12 o'clock and the master volume over about 2 o'clock. <laughs> tone um, I got a little bit of reverb in there and I've got the tone knob almost dimed but just a little short of dime and you get pretty nice clean tone <laughs> master volume back and I'll show you the uh, tone I really like on the Bad Cat using the Les Paul. So I'm going up to about, that would be dimed, I'm just a little short of that and I'm going to bring the master volume back just shy of uh, noon there. Leave the tone pretty high. Now you start to get a little bit of uh, bite here and I'm going to be playing on the bridge pickup. <laughs> switch and I'm going to play that uh, same lick and then engage the rip switch the second time through. It's a pretty big, maybe too big of a volume increase, but it does bring out a lot of natural overdrive in the amp. Sounds amazing. <laughs> pedal. I use it for a little bit of overdrive and no volume boost, so unity volume with some overdrive. So here it is without it. consider sort of a maybe a lead a lead tone <laughs> the video and switch guitars. Okay, I'm back with the Strat now. A little bit of a sort of a funky groove here. Uh, trying to get it clean. 
I can tell you that you're not going to be able to play over a drummer at this uh, volume. I've got the master almost all the way up. It's loud, but it, I don't think it's drummer loud. So here's what it sounds like though. Not bad, it sounds great, uh, just not super loud. Now I'm going to show you how I like to play this amp with, with the strap. I take the gain, put it all the way up, and then I just back the master off a little bit. strat sound like that. I'll bring Tumnus on. Actually, I'm going to start off with the with the rip switch. You get a lot more volume with this, and I'm going to switch down into the bridge pick. Right here. Gibson 335, getting a clean tone, pretty much uh, gains at 12 o'clock, and the master volume is almost dimed. So this would be pretty close, as loud as you can get it for clean. Um, let's see. sounds great with the rip switch on and the master volume brought back so rip switch on master volume back a little bit The volume back a little bit on the amp with the rip switch on. It's a beautiful tone. Um, how about with the tumness now? Actually, I'm going to go to the bridge pickup first. 
So here's bridge pickup. <laughs> Charlie for some higher gain. <laughs> for the bad cat it's got a beautiful uh, Baltic birch construction of the wood great tones uh, with all the guitars I have uh, not a scooped sound not a fender scooped at all kind of more uh, uh, mid focused tone in my opinion uh, the the tone knob doesn't do much from back here all the way till about two o'clock not a whole lot different but it starts to kind of kick in at the final part of the range right there. Like that. As far as, uh, let me get rid of this distortion so you can hear the reverb a little bit better. Here comes a clean tone. A little bit of reverb. Here's a little bit more. It's a real reverb, it's not digital. And uh, like I said, for a guitar like this, I get the best tone with the gain cranked and the master not as much. All right, thanks for watching.